Are you okay? Yes, but we'd better get her to a doctor immediately. Well, if it isn't Mirage. Mirage? Cliff. Fate. Reunited at last. What have you been up to? I've been tracking you down. It was easy enough with all the stories you left in your wake. I just arrived here, only to see this girl collapse in front of my eyes. We need to get her to a doctor, quick. Is it that bad? I'm afraid so. Flowers? Amina! What? What is she doing here? How should I know? We gotta get her help! Take her to the inn, and I'll go summon the doctor. Please, hurry! She's stable at the moment, but her condition is still serious. For now, just make sure she gets plenty of rest. Damn! Why'd she have to go and pull a thing like this? Hey, keep it cool. You'll wake her up. But... I said relax. Do you think you beating up the walls will somehow help her get better? The disease is in her lungs. If the ego were operational, I think we could heal her. Are you sure, Mirage? It may be a small ship, but its medical facilities are better than anything on this rock. Unfortunately, the impact destroyed most of the equipment. And the Eagle's been heavily guarded ever since you two were taken away. The door's locked, so the soldiers can't get in. But unless we deal with them, neither can we. That's the thing, isn't it? If we started raising a ruckus in the middle of their royal city, you could bet the Dragon Brigade will be on us in no time. And I don't think that Albel guy will take too kindly to us either. But Amina, she's running out of time. I know, but what can we do? I'm sorry. We're running out of time ourselves. Her Majesty has summoned both of you. Is something wrong? You'll hear all the details inside the castle. It looks like Eriglyph's invasion has begun. Their troops are already approaching Arius. Not only that, we have information that indicates this time all three of Eriglyph's brigades are taking part in the battle. Oh, man. I think they are going to try and wipe us out before we can complete the Thunder Arrow. Duke Vox is commanding them. So they're trying to end it all in a single blow? It looks like that. At any rate, Dion will head to Arius with every completed weapon at our disposal. I don't know how much he'll be able to accomplish. Dion? Amina, you have to stay in bed. I... Fate? Don't worry about that. Why did you push yourself so hard? Because... my friend, an old man I know, told me I could find him here, in Aquios. He's here? Yes. The man said he works in the Royal Research Facility. You did say that your friend is an engineer, but are you really sure he's in the lab? I don't know, but when I heard, I just had to come. And so you came all this way by yourself? The Royal Research Facility. Does that ring a bell? There's only one research lab in Aquios. Lady Elena's Runological Weapon Research Facility. Really? If that's the case, I may have already met him. Amina, what's your friend's name? His name is Dion. What? Dion's your long-lost friend? Do you know him? That means Dion. He's... he's really here. I'm going to see him. No, wait. You're sick. You have to stay here. But... Amina, you can't move in the state you're in. Look, I'll bring Dion here to see you. Fate. Amina, listen to me. I don't want you running around and collapsing again. Okay. Mirage, can you please stay by her side? Yes. Leave her to me.
Dion is still in the research lab? Yes, he is. He's still preparing the runological weapons they're going to take to Arius. I'll be right back. I want you to take the completed runological weapons to Arius by wagon. Good luck. Yes, sir. Dion! We received the copper. Thank you very much. Dion, it's... I've heard about what Eriglyph is doing. It's unfortunate that we won't have time to use the copper that you worked so hard to get for us. But there's no time for regrets. I have to take all of the usable runological weapons to Arius. No! Who cares about that now? It's not that! Huh? What do you mean, who cares about that? Dion, do you remember someone named Amina? Amina? How do you know that name? Did someone tell you... How embarrassing. So you do know her? Amina was the name of a childhood friend of mine. I haven't seen her in years. My, that brings back... So it is you. Come with me a minute. Wait a second, what's going on? I can't leave my work now. How do you know about her anyway? Your childhood friend Amina is here in Aquios. She came to see you. What? No. She lost her folks in the war and went to live with relatives in Eriglyph. How could... She can't be an Aquios. I'm telling the truth. Please. I know you're really busy, but please come. Okay. Okay, where is she? She's at the inn. Will you see her? Of course I will. I've missed her. Let's go.
Jane is in here. What is it? Let's go in. I have to tell you something first. What? She's suffering from a serious disease. That's why she couldn't go see you. What? Amina sick. She was never the most energetic girl, but... You are her only strength now. The thought of seeing you again is all that keeps her going. I don't know if it's my place to say this, but please, take care of her. I understand. She means a lot to me too. Give me the dirt. Where do we stand on the battlefront? I'll be honest with you. It's pretty bad. The enemy forces have already swept past Curlsaw, and they have established a front by the national border close to Arius. I also have reports that indicate that this is the largest force they've ever fielded. That's not good. The enemy's serious this time. Vox is spearheading the attack, right? And all three Aeriglyph brigades are participating? Yes. But apparently Albel the Wicked is not participating in this operation. Is that so? The reports indicate as much. There is a possibility that the events at the Becquerel Mines are somehow related. Ah, makes sense. Well, whatever. We'll take on whoever they throw at us. I'm sorry. I didn't bring you two all this way to help fight our war. <laughs> now you tell me. Don't worry. Being here was our decision. I appreciate you saying that, and I know our leadership is counting on you, whether they come out and say it or not. Have no doubt, you will be a vital part of our defense. Well, it's not like I could just let things go their merry way now. In for a penny, in for a pound. Right? Uh, yeah, that's right. You weren't listening, were you? What's on your mind? It's just, watching Dion and Amina, I couldn't help but remember Sophia. I wonder what she's doing right now. And then there's my dad. I just hope everyone's safe. It's not really my place to say this, but I'm truly sorry. Sorry for keeping you here so long. I know you want to go help your father. Don't worry about that. It's not like I have a way to get to him now anyway. It was just bothering me. I said this before, but worrying won't help. You have to focus. Do what you can now. You're right. All I can do is help this country, and figure out how we're going to survive this. That's right. So, what do you want me to do? I can fight if you want me to. Ah, uh, yes. What do you want her to do? She's a great fighter, like I told you before. I think I'd like her to stay with Amina. Hmm. I guess you're right. No sense getting her involved now. Mirage, you okay with that? Fine. I'm sorry to have kept you all waiting. Are you ready? Yes. And we've no time to spare. I'm looking forward to having time to chat with Amina once the war's done. That's right. Another good reason to win this war. Yes, we'll win this one. I promised Amina we would. Okay, let's do it. All right, 
Dion, hurry up and finish your preparations. We'll go on ahead to Arius. Okay. Lady Nell, Commander Claire and the others are waiting for you at headquarters. Please hurry! Nell Zelfer reporting, ma'am. Sit down. Although the enemy has superiority in numbers, we can fight them from a distance with runological weapons. We'll use runology to deal with the Dragon Brigade, too. If we fought them head-on, we'd be playing right into Aeryglyph's hands. We must maintain our distance and avoid close combat at all costs. The operation begins at the break of dawn tomorrow. I want all units ready. Yes, yes ma'am. Yes, ma Dismissed. Nell, I have a separate task for you to carry out, apart from the main force. I want you to break through enemy lines and destroy Aeryglyph's command center. Vox? That's right. Fate? Cliff? 
I'd also like to request your assistance, if I may. Of course. That's why we're here. Sure. I never meant for you to become so involved in this, but... We have to involve them. They're a bigger asset in combat than anyone else in my outfit. Please don't worry about it. I have my own reasons for wanting to fight. I want to end this war as soon as possible. Right. Okay, thank you. Both of you. Fate? Cliff? Please assist Nell in her operation. Yes, ma'am. All right. There's still some time before you need to leave. Please make preparations. Check your equipment and rest if you must. It's all up to you, Nell. Leave it to me. I'm counting on you. Are the preparations complete? What we do here will determine victory or defeat. If we do not defend this position, they'll take the royal city in one fell swoop. We must stop them here. Let's do it. All units, move out! Yeah! yeah. 
I've been hearing about. The ones who defeated Albel. So what if we are? Fox, you die here, now! You've got a lot of guts, but we'll bury you just the same. Leave these scum to me, men! Let's go! Be careful! Let's get it on! Lightning 
Put up a nice fight, but I wouldn't have it any other way. What's that? What, what is that? Something from Greeton? No, that's the Vendini. Vendini? What are they doing all the way out here? Are they not conquering this world? Hey, we better get out of here. I know what they're after. What do you mean? Uh, actually... Can't wait. We need to get back to headquarters. Staying here is not a good idea. Okay. What is that? Dion, sir, the weapon is loaded. Great. Wait until you hear the word. Yes, sir. I'll come to you. Dion, sir. Yes, fire! Begin the attack! Here I go! 
like an even match. Want some? Fear of death! What goes around comes around. After me, are they? Was that why they attacked Haida? Was that my fault?
Calm down, Fate. I, I can no, explain. I see now. It is all because of me. Everything. That's why Haida was attacked. That's why the Hellera was attacked. And now Elicor, too. It's all my fault. I said calm down. Listen to me. What do they want me for? Why do they want me enough to kill so many innocent people? Who? Who the hell am I? Lady Nell. How is Dion doing? Not well. I see. <sighs> oh, you're awake. What a relief. I thought you might not ever wake up again. Where am I? Castle Aquaria. We're back. It looks like the Aeriglyph soldiers went back home too. Now's not the time for war. And the Vendini? Don't worry about them. How are you feeling? I'm all... Ugh. I'm aching all over. And Dion? Is Dion okay? He's been seriously injured. He's still breathing, but it doesn't look good. Oh no! I promised Amina I'd make sure he got home safely. Wait, you should stay in bed. She's right. You're not in such great shape yourself, you know. I'm more worried about Dion right now. Where is he? He's in a private room across from the fabrication room. but you'll have to keep your voice down. He just fell asleep. I'm sorry. How is he, Doctor? Well, he's stabilized a little bit, but he's still in grave danger. Whatever attacked him, it injured him so greatly that healing is almost impossible. We don't have the tools to help him. No. Dion, hang in there. I'm bringing Amina to see you.
You've been through a lot, haven't you? Mirage, how is Amina? Her condition is not good. She really strained herself coming all this way. Yeah. Is something wrong? Yes. Amina? Exert yourself. Amina, it's Dion. He... What? Come with me. Dion's here, in the castle. That's impossible. The doctor ordered us not to move her. It's too dangerous. Please, it's important. This? I promised to end this war so I could see you, Leonary Cliff, again. I know. Please, you must rest. <laughs> I couldn't end the war, but I saw you again. It's all I ever wished for. Dion, that was my wish too. I'm glad I saw you again. Me too. Uh, me. Your whole lives ahead of you. Amina, I failed you. This is all my fault. Amina? Amina! No.
It's all my fault. This never would have happened if I hadn't come here. No, it's not your fault, Fate. Isn't it, though? The Venditti came here for me! Who am I? Why do the Vendini want me so badly? Look! I know you know something! I have no idea what you're talking about. But those things... The Vendini... What are they? All right. You guys are part of this now anyway. Those guys, the Vendini, they... We've got trouble! Another one of those weapons has appeared in the sky! What? Damn! Is this too an arrow of Atlas? Your Majesty, why are you still here? Please, you've got to get to a safe place right away! Lately, it seems that hiding does not help. Is anywhere truly safe now? You know what that thing is, do you not? Is it a weapon from Greeton? No, it's not. Then what is it? What is a Vendini? The Vendini are after me. If they catch me, they'll leave. I'll explain, Your Majesty. The Vendini are... Hey, come here a sec. Damn! What now? I'll give myself up. Then they'll leave. Fate, no. That's enough of that. You say that again and I swear I'll smack you one! Cliff, calm down. Anger won't solve anything. But he's right, Fate. Then what should we do? This country's military doesn't stand a chance against the Vendini ships. Hey. But you chased away the Vendini ship before. Why not do it again? Huh? But... It's as I thought. You don't remember a thing, do you? What are you talking about? Wait! Another one's coming! Cliff! Yup, it's them. Finally. Keep you waiting. Hey, took you long enough. Sorry. Yeah, well, hey, is it even safe to transport to a place like this? I scanned the situation before coming in, so I had a good idea what to expect. At least now that this planet's part of this mess, we don't have to hide anything anymore. True enough, but I bet you that Mr. Super Square Champion of the UP3 would disagree with you. Ha ha, very funny. Who's that girl? Uh, yeah, sorry. I'm slacking in my introduction. This here is the leader of Quark, Maria. What? I'm Maria Trador. But please, call me Maria. Uh, uh, nice to meet you. I'm... I know who you are. Fate Leingard, the only son of the Universal Authority on Symbological Genetics, Professor Robert Leingard. 
Born on Earth, currently 19 years of age. Favorite sport, basketball. Position, point guard. Your favorite food is... Hang on just a second. How do you... I did some research. Is somebody going to explain this? What's going on? Who is she? How did she just appear here? So, I take it you're not all from Greeton after all. Come on, answer me. No more concealing the truth. That is enough, Lady Nell. But your majesty! I said that is enough. Yes, your majesty. I know not who you are, but it is certain that you are one of their acquaintances. I would hear an explanation of you now, one that makes sense to my ears. Please forgive my rudeness, Your Majesty, but would it be all right if we talked among ourselves first? We have a lot of catching up to do. I will explain all of the details and how the facts are connected afterwards. That I promise. So be it. Show them to the conference room. Yes, Your Majesty. Um, Miss Trador? Please, just Maria's fine. If I may call you Fate. Oh, all right then. Maria, please tell me what happened. Why did the Vendini capture my dad? Why are they after me? What is it about me that they're so interested in? Relax. There's no need to rush things, and there's much to explain. But first, his powers manifested, didn't they? They did, just once. He was stronger than expected. Particularly, his destructive capabilities are far beyond yours. And his memory? Nah, the whole thing was completely wiped from his mind. I see. What in the world are you guys talking about? Just a moment. First, I have some new information. It's not exactly good news. You know that your father, Professor Leingod, was captured by the Vendini, right? Yes. We have learned, after investigating the situation, that your friend Sophia was captured as well. What? They grabbed her after the two of you escaped from the Hellera. They got Sophia? No! But what do the Vendini want with them? You really have no idea, do you? So tell me what's going on! Fine. Your father took it upon himself to carry out forbidden research. Forbidden research? That's right. He researched and designed a genetically modified living weapon, forbidden by the laws of the Pan-Galactic Federation. My father? I can't believe it! Of course he didn't talk about it. Other than those involved, only the top levels of the Federation government knew anything. Then how come you know about it? I was one of his... guinea pigs. What? I'll never forgive them. My dad? I... I can't believe this! Living weapons? You? A guinea pig? You just look like an ordinary girl! Exactly. Watch this. What? What was that? 
This is the power I received from the symbological genetic modifications that Professor Leingod and his lab performed on me. I possess the ability to manipulate the structure of matter. So, still think I'm an ordinary girl? But why would my father do such a thing? And not just to me. What? I wasn't the only one they modified. Another came before me. I was the second subject. What are you saying? The first subject was you. Me? The first subject? What are you talking about? My dad would never do something like that to me. I can understand if you don't believe me. Your power hasn't fully awakened yet. But if I'm not telling the truth, can you explain one thing for me? Who knocked that Vendini battleship out of the sky? Why are the Vendini so relentless in going after you, and everyone else related to the Line Gods? Everyone who was there knows the answers to these questions. Everyone but you, that is. Well... I know you don't want to admit it, but there's only one truth. I'm going to steal the Professor and everyone else back from the Vendini and ask him why he did what he did. But to do this, I need your help, Fate. I can't do it alone. Me? A weapon? She's gotta be crazy. I wouldn't expect you to object to saving your father and Sophia. I know how important they are to you. Of course I want to rescue them. They mean everything to me. All right, I'll help you. All right, now that we're decided... Nell! It doesn't matter if she heard us. So how are we getting off this rock? I made arrangements. I came in a small ship to avoid the Vendini. The Diplo will be arriving later. Everything else is up to Marietta's skills. Your preparations are thorough as always. Yes, well, we still have a lot of problems to deal with. That's right. Even if your ship can make it, how do we know the Vendini won't interfere? Right. Entering orbit, transporting, and warping out will take a total of five minutes. Even our flagship will have trouble withstanding five minutes of concentrated fire from the Vendini. Exactly. The ideal solution would be to create some diversion from the ground as well. But... With the technology available on this planet, that will be difficult. Still, we must think of something. If only fate could control his power. Even I can't completely control my power. Either way, we need a sure thing if we're going to pull this off. Mirage, what's the strongest and most effective weapon on this planet? I'm not saying we need to use it to break through the Vendini shield. All we'd need to do is buy some time while they reevaluate our military capabilities. Hmm. Our best option is Aquarius' runological weapons. Hey, what about Dion's weapon? You mean the Thunder Arrow? That's the one. I don't know how much damage it could do to the Vendini battleship, but as far as I know, it's the most powerful weapon on this planet. All right. Then let's start making preparations immediately. The thing is, it's still under development. It's not ready for actual combat, and I doubt its range is long enough to reach the Vendini ship. In any case, the weapon belongs to Aquaria. We can't just use it as we please. The Vendini. You mean the ones from before? That's right. They're coming back? There's no doubt of that. And you need our Thunder Arrow to fight them. That's about the size of it. All right. I'll talk to the Queen about it. Huh? Are you sure? Honestly, I don't really understand the situation. One thing I do know, if that celestial ship comes back again, it will cause another catastrophe. And 
I believe that the two of you are worthy of my trust. Thank you. Regardless, we did promise the Queen that we'd explain the situation to her. I don't think she'll be as easy to convince. Your Majesty, they said they would explain the situation. Very well. You say you're from another world. You ask us to believe this. Nonsense. Stop wasting Her Majesty's time. Silence, Lasselle. Your Majesty. I understand your surprise. But what we speak is the truth. This is quite sudden, not to mention quite difficult to believe. However, recent events in our country leave me with no choice but to believe. Your Majesty, these people can be trusted. I believe they are telling the truth. And you say this new enemy will return again? Why would that be? I think that I am their objective. So, you are the cause of this entire affair? I don't want to believe it myself, but yes. Then all we have to do is hand you over to them. Then they will go home, no? Lasselle, you are to remain silent. Your Majesty. Can we fight these Vendini with our Thunder Arrow? I can't be sure, but I believe so. The Thunder Arrow would divert the Vendini long enough for us to leave the planet and fix this situation. For the sake of our country, it might indeed be best to simply hand you over to them. However, you are our guest. It would not be proper for us to abandon you now. Your Majesty, you mean... Yes. We shall let you use the Thunder Arrow. Your Majesty, thank you very much. We are grateful, Your Majesty. Yeah, but what are you going to do about the range problem? It's not much good to us if we can't reach them. Yeah, I know. We've got a problem! Watch your tone. You are in the presence of Her Majesty the Queen. Someone has infiltrated Kadan. What? Who? It was one of those celestial ships, Your Majesty. They landed right next to the shrine. We believe they're headed for the Sacred Orb. The Sacred Orb? They wear a strange kind of armor, and are equipped with weapons that emit glowing beams of light. The Runologists have them stopped for the moment, but they can't do anything against those weapons! At this rate, they'll be at the Sacred Orb in no time! Glowing weapons... Those would be Disruptor Rifles. They must be remnants of the Vendini fleet. If that's the case, why are they going after the Orb instead of us? What's Kadan, and what's the Sacred Orb? Kadan is the holy land of our church. It's where the Sacred Orb is enshrined, a mysterious sphere that emits the purest light. Holy water flows freely from it. It is said that in the hands of Aquarius ruler, the orb is capable of all kinds of miracles. The waters of this lake which surround Aquios are also of the Sacred Orb. Hmm. Your Majesty, which way is Kadan? To the east of Aquios. I see. Interesting. What in the world? What is it? I'm picking up an energy reading in the location you described that is too technologically advanced for this planet. It's even beyond our ability to identify. What? It may be a so-called out-of-place artifact, 
or OPA. I bet the Vendini detected this sacred orb while they were searching for us. So you think they're after the sacred orb? It's the most likely explanation. If you look back at history, anyone who got their hands on OPAs acquired incredible power. It would pretty much go without saying they wanted. That's terrible! We can't let them steal our sacred orb! Your Majesty, we must send soldiers immediately! Yes. Take your unit and make for Kadan at once. Your Majesty. Please wait a moment, Your Majesty. We are sorry, but we must attend to your business later. Responding to these thieves at Kadan must take precedence. That's what I'm saying. I don't think Aquarius military could stand up to them with their current equipment. We are aware of this, but we cannot let them steal the sacred orb. Look, I'll go to Kadan. What are you thinking? It's my fault the Vendini ever came here in the first place. I have to accept responsibility somehow. Hey, wait a second. You mean we, right? You planning on going there alone? He's right. Going alone would be suicidal. If you die, then I've come here for nothing. I'm going too. Thank you. Very well. Then we shall leave it to you. Your Majesty, I'll go with them as well. Yes, please do. As the situation is grave, we give you permission to use the sealed cavern. Show them the way. The sealed cavern? Yes, it is a place in which only members of the royal family are allowed, but I'm making an exception. Do not fail us. Your Majesty, 